Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to revise the functional graph that was in June 2024. I couldn't find all the questions of section B, so I'm going to revise what I'm having. So today uh, we are going to start with the functional graph question. It was on number 8. So it is reading the following is an incomplete table of values the function y is equals to x squared plus x minus 3 we are supposed to find the value of p for the value of p the corresponding x value is minus 3 so first we are going to write the equation which is saying y is equals to x squared plus x minus 3 and then we substitute minus 3 in order to find the value of p so we substitute minus 3 on x and then we say minus 3 squared plus 3 plus minus 3 minus minus 3. So minus 3 squared we are going to get positive 9. And then 9 minus 3 we get 6. 6 minus 3 we get 3. So it implies that the value of p is going to be equal to 3. And then next one to find the value of Q. This is our Q. The corresponding X value is 0. So we say Y is equals to 0 squared plus 0 minus 3. It implies that the Y, which is Q, is going to be equal to negative 3. And then on B part 1, we are supposed to draw the graph of Y is equals to x squared plus x minus 3. On, the, on a sheet of graph paper, we use a scale of 2 centimeters to represent one unit in the x-axis and 2 centimeters to represent two units on the y-axis. So it is very important that you follow the scale that is given. So when we follow the scale, we are going to have uh, this is our graph. And then we are having two units represented by two centimeters in y-axis and one unit being represented by two centimeters in the x-axis. And then after that, we are now going to plot the points in order to come up with the functional graph. So here, we are saying minus four is in line with nine. Minus four in the x-axis and nine in the y-axis. It is this point that we are going to plot and then next we are having minus 3 and p. We obtained the value of p as 3. So it is going to be minus 3 in the x-axis and 3 in the y-axis. So minus 3 and plus 3 it is this point that we are going to plot. Next we are having minus 2 and minus 1. Minus 2 and minus 1 is this point that we are going to plot. Next, we are having 0 and Q. Our Q is minus 3. So 0 and minus 3, it is this point that we are going to plot. Next, we are having 1 and minus 1. 1 in the x-axis and 1 minus 1 in the y-axis. It is this point that we are going to plot. Next, we are having 2 and 3. 2 in the x-axis and 3 in the y-axis. It is this point that we are going to plot. And then lastly, we are having this 3 and 9. 3 in the x-axis and 9 in the y-axis. It is this point that we are going to plot. And then after that, we need to join all these points uh, using a smooth cave. We are supposed to draw a smooth cave joining all the points together. After joining all the points, we are going to have this kind of a cave, which we are going to name y is equals to x squared plus x minus 3. By doing this, you obtain all the formats. And then on part two, we are supposed to draw the line of symmetry of the cave. So the line of symmetry divides this 
cave into two equal halves. So our line of symmetry is going to be a line that is between minus 1 and 0. So this line is the line of symmetry. It is dividing our cave into two equal halves. So we are going to label that x is equals to minus half is our line of symmetry. And then next, next part is saying find the equation of the line of symmetry. So we have already done it. The line of symmetry is x is equals to minus half. And then on part two, it is saying find the coordinates of the minimum point of the cave. So this is the minimum point where our cave is turning. So in the x-axis, we are having minus half. And then in the y-axis, it is going to be, here it is 3, 3.2, 3.4. So we are going to write our coordinate is minus half and minus 3.4. And the last part, we are required to solve the equation x squared plus x minus 3 is equals to negative 2. So first we need to draw the line which we are going to name y is equals to minus 2. So this is our y is equals to minus 2. We are going to draw a line and we name it y is equals to minus 2. And then when we are solving the equation, it is the points where the cave and the line are intersecting. So we are going to write the x coordinate here and also the x coordinate here is our solution. So here, the first solution is this solution uh, where the line y is cos minus 2 is intersecting with the cave at this point. So this one is going to be minus 1.5. And then another point where the line is intersecting with the cave is this point, which is 0 0.5. So our solutions are going to be x is equals to min minus 1.5 or 0 0.5. Now this marked the end of our tutorial on functional graph that was in Simsek June 2024. Thank you so much guys for following me on this channel. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my videos. I love you all. This is Eve signing out.